All right. So uh, this session we would be solving uh, RC from the big book, and uh, uh, this RC is based on uh, some kind of uh, biology thing. Let's uh, check it out and solve this. So we are going to use the three-pointer technique which we have been talking about. And uh, what we said was that we are going to read the first line three times and we are going to deploy our extra knowledge of the subject as well. And uh, uh, we are going to focus on the triggering words as well. So let's uh, uh, check out uh, this one. Zooplankton, a tiny animal adapted to an existence in the ocean, have evolved a clever mechanism for obtaining their food. Minuscule uh, phytoplankton dot. So, uh, uh, zooplankton, tiny animal adapted to its extensive notion of all coming up for obtaining their food, minuscule phylocapton. Zooplankton, tiny animal adapted uh, to an existence in the ocean, has evolved uh, a clever mechanism for obtaining their food, minuscule uh, phytoplankton. It's a plant. So this is an animal and uh, phyto is a, is a plant and uh, uh, it's about evolution. So after reading the first line three times, uh, uh, I understand that, uh, okay, this RC is about uh, uh, the evolution. And evolution is an area which we always cover in our uh, pre-knowledge class uh, in the 27 areas. So I know that evolution means uh, uh, the plants adapt in all those aspects. So let's move ahead. A very specialized feeding adaptation in zooplankton is that uh, of the tadpole-like uh, appendicularian who lives in the walnut size or smaller balloon of uh, mucus equipped with filter that capture and concentrate uh, phytoplankton. So this is about an adaptation, uh, feeding adaptation. Uh, uh, and something like that. The balloon, comma, a transport, a transparent structure that varies in design according to the type of appendicularian inhabiting it, also protects animals and keeps uh, and helps uh, to keep it afloat. Now, water containing uh, phytoplankton is pumped uh, to the appendicularian muscular tail into the balloon's inker filter, passes through the feeding filter where the appendicular sucks the food into the mouth and then goes uh, through an exit passage. So this is about how it, uh, it is in taking food. Uh, found uh, in uh, all the oceans of the world, including Arctic Ocean, appendicular tend to remain near the water surface where the density of phytoplankton is greatest. So this is about the adaptation is the, in this uh, a tiny animal uh, where it has uh, this food called phytoplankton and uh, something about that. Uh, let's uh, try to look at the first question. It can be inferred from the paragraph that okay, so it can be inferred from the passage that which of the following is true about uh, appendicularian. They are exclusively carnivorous or oh, they eat plant. How can we say? So A goes out. Uh, let's look at the seven. They have more than one method of obtaining food. Mm, let's keep this uh, for a while. They can tolerate uh, frigid uh, water. Now look at this Antarctic Ocean found in all oceans, including at uh, Antarctic Ocean. See, seems fair enough. They can disguise themselves by secreting mucus. They are more sensitive. No light is not talked about. They have more than one method of obtaining food. A very specialized food is that uh, the balloon transmit structure. Okay, so this also goes out. So everything gets eliminated and the right answer is C here, that they can tolerate uh, a frigid weather which is found that they are, they are found inside the Arctic Ocean as well. So for this one, uh, C is the right answer. Okay, let's move to the next question. Uh, the next question says that the author is uh, primarily concerned with uh, explaining how appendicularian obtain food, explaining the floating method. No, they never talked about floating method. Uh, mapping around the distribution of epically around the world. They never talked of around the world. Describing how they differ from other zoo plant. You know, oh my God, they are comparison of this is a plant and this is animal. This is a stupid answer. Comparing the various types of balloons form. 
No, the primary concern means the main concern. The, the main concern can always be seen from the first line. And the first line uh, clearly talks about that this is an animal, this is a an plant, and how uh, this plant has evolved. So, A is the best answer that we have here. So, therefore, the answer for 18th is A. Okay, let's look at the 19th one now. Uh, according to the passage, all of the following are descriptive of perpendicular. Then, now we have to go to uh, uh, the thing. But even if we don't go, let's look at common sense and try to. Uh, Eliminate. Now, what I have been talking to you in the few classes is that you have to use the power of elimination, not the power of selection. So, you don't have to go to the RC again. You have to eliminate some very stupid looking options and uh, use all your techniques of elimination. So, it's tailed. Okay, it's possible the tail thing is, uh, I think it was mentioned, it's vegetarian. Maybe because this animal, see, it only uh, it's, it talks about. Uh, uh, that plant, uh, maybe it is vegetarian. Small sized, yes. Single celled ocean. And now we can know that uh, from our uh, pre knowledge, extra knowledge, we quite understand that this is not single cell because single cell is amoeba and it is made up of all these other things. So, what could this could not be a single celled animal? And uh, of course, a single cell animal cannot have these type of structures like tails and all those aspects. So, of course, D looks uh, a very stupid answer here, and we understand this our this from our pre knowledge and also reading the paragraph. Okay, let's uh, move to the twentieth one. The passage suggests that the appendicularian tend to remain on the surface water because <clears throat> now this is a suggestion or inference type of question. They prefer warm warmer water near the surface. Okay, let's keep this for a while. Uh, are uh, unable to secrete mucus at lower level of ocean. No, it does not matter how lower they are. B goes out. Use the contrast of light and shadows. Oh, this is uh, again not told. C goes out. Lives in a balloon that cannot withstand the water pressure. Oh, they never talked about pressure. D goes out. Eat food that grows more profitable near the surface. Now, uh, when we talked about the last line, uh, uh, we th it was very specifically mentioned. And let me try to take you there. So, it was very specifically mentioned that uh, uh, found in all oceans including apparent and to remain the water surface where the density of phytoplankton is maximum. So, it was about food. So, the 20th option is E. Uh, eats the foods that uh, go more profusely near the ocean. So, we did all these questions. Now, look at the timer. If you look at this timer which has been going on, we did around 4 questions and it's around uh, 7 or 8 minutes. Now, when you do it with practice, and I don't narrate all this explanation with you, you can do these type of questions in uh, say around five and a half minutes, and that's fair enough for you because uh, in the GRE you are required to do the antonym and analogy a bit faster. So, a four question RC, uh, if you are taking five minutes for four question RC, is uh, fair enough. So, when you get in a practice, and uh, when I don't narrate all my story in between, uh, you can al always do uh, these kind of RCs very fast. So, no need to worry about this. So, this was the RC about uh, uh, adaptation in uh, this zooplankton, which is a tiny animal. And uh, we'll do RC of other uh, subjects as uh, well uh, very soon. So, I'll, I'll be taking in more RCs, more complicated ones especially. So, I hope you understand it. To understand the theory of uh, this subject, we have to go back to my... Uh, uh, theory sessions and understand what is power of elimination, what is three pointer method, why we are reading the first line three times, what are triggering words, what are mood words, what are counter evidence words, uh, what is the thing uh, which is which I talk about as pre knowledge, what is the minimum requirement of pre knowledge is variant in various domains. And to understand all these parts, we have to uh, go back to my theory lecture and understand about the reading comprehension. So, uh, th uh, this was a very small. Uh, uh, video on how to solve uh, these uh, small uh, RCs. I hope uh, you liked it. Uh, for more details, you can check out my website, which is uh, uh, freegregmatclass.com, where you can find recorded uh, lectures of my class on uh, various places like Visit, Blue Teach, and uh, uh, Exam Ville. So, thank you for watching this recording, and uh, I hope uh, you were benefited uh, at least some bit. Thank you.